Hey everybody, it's Saturday. I'm here uh, for uh, the Saturday service and I'm early because traffic wasn't that bad. I only had to stop, come to a complete stop three times. That is the least amount of congestion I've had driving through downtown Houston in the last two years. I've been here, actually today is not, no, so I'll be here, have been here exactly two years on Monday. Monday will be my two year anniversary living in Houston. Um, wow. So, um, I was doing um, my mitzvah, I just, you know, get in the habit of every day um, doing a page or two in the uh, mitzvah book. So 613 mitzvahs. So this is, th these certain things are happening that were beyond my expectation. Okay, so um, the translating from Hebrew to English, and then my expectation was I was going to be able to look at the interpretation, look at it, and, and, and get what it's telling me. But what, what's happening is, is, is my mind is starting to get really familiar with the Hebrew letters. I don't always have to go through the cards to know what the symbol is. And then I don't have to go to the cards hardly at all to get the meaning in the uh, of these letters, okay? But then there's a common reoccurring theme in doing this, and that is that God is trying to impart his wisdom, his power, and his understanding his revelation in us isn't that something right and so there's people that have been in this church way longer than me that they've given me hints there's this one guy he everything he he, he likes music right and so you can, you can give him any song and he'll find the spiritual meaning in that song right any song you name it I tried Highway to Hell from ACDC, and he's sure he that was easy for him to find that the spiritual meaning in that song, right? And uh, it was I'm like, wow, you know, and you know the people, you know, ACDC who wrote that song, I'm sure they are not aware of the spiritual message that they're putting out in that song. But if you understand the symbolism of the words that they choose to use, you'll pick up on it. Isn't that something? It's, it's, it's phenomenal, right? And it, it causes you to crave more of it, right? Isn't that something else too, right? You're, you're pulled to gain more. And I started thinking on the way here in the light traffic, I'm like, you know, what if we had enough of us that had this understanding and in our collective consciousness of it. And so our understanding as a as a group, a large enough group, there'd be a lot of changes, be a lot of different ways of doing things, okay? And we would all be moving in lockstep. Man, that's one of the things I missed about the SEAL teams. Is the ability to get 16 guys all focused on the same thing at the same time, making it happen. Looking out for each other, being able to read each other because you, you're familiar with each other. And that's what we're missing. That's what we're missing. Um, care, really caring about each other, right? And, and, and intentionally helping each other so we don't fall.
Yeah. Have a great Saturday.